Hello everyone, I am Sheka. Welcome to our new series called Jolly Japanese. This series is for people who want to learn Japanese to study, work, or live in Japan. Here, we are going to learn Japanese from the very basic. So if you have no idea about Japanese language at all, this series will be a great start for your Japanese language learning. For the first video in this series, we are going to talk about the different things that you should know before learning Japanese. If you're interested in this video, please keep on watching. Before the end of this video, you will find a quiz to check what you've learned today. If you're ready, let's start. First, there are many different dialects in Japan. They are often grouped into two major types. The Tokyo type spoken in the northern regions and the Kyoto Osaka type spoken in the southern regions. Foreigners learn the standard Japanese or Hyojungo. It is the primary language taught in school and is used on national television. It is spoken in Kanto area where Tokyo is. The dialects may differ in speed, tone of voice, and conjugation of some words when compared to standard Japanese. Second, Japanese is usually written in a combination of three different writing symbols. These are hiragana, katakana, and kanji. Hiragana is used for Japanese-oriented words. Katakana is used for foreign-oriented words. And kanji are Chinese characters adopted into the Japanese writing system. Each hiragana character has a katakana counterpart. Both hiragana and katakana have 46 base characters. Kanji characters give specific meaning to Japanese words. All kanji characters can be written in hiragana. For example, flower and nose can both be written in hiragana the same way. But if we use kanji, hana and hana look very different from each other. Some basic kanji characters are pictograms of their literal meaning. For example, there are 2,000 kanji characters commonly used in Japan. Third, for Filipinos, Japanese pronunciation is quite easy because we have a similar syllable system. However, for some people in other countries, they find Japanese pronunciation quite difficult. Each hiragana and katakana characters have a unique pronunciation. Japanese has five vowels, a, i, u, e, and o. All consonants are paired with a vowel except for n, which is the only independent consonant. Each syllable is given a full beat, meaning all syllables are pronounced in the same length. Fourth, there are three main politeness levels in spoken Japanese. These are the plain form or casual form, the simple polite form, and the advanced polite form. Japanese people adjust their language to show proper respect depending on their relationship to the person they are speaking with. In other words, you use a certain form of speech depending on your position. This position is determined by a variety of factors including job, age, or even experience. The person in the lower position is expected to use a polite form of speech. Strangers will also speak to each other politely. The advanced polite form, or keigo, actually consists of two kinds of politeness. These are honorific language and humble language. Humble language is used to talk about oneself or one's own group of people, like your company or your family. On the other hand, honorific language is used when describing the person you're talking to and his group with much respect. An example of honorific language is using the suffix san after someone's name. San literally means Mr. or Miss, and you shouldn't add san after your name. <phone rings> Lastly, Japanese body language and gestures are an essential part of communication. Some gestures are used to show politeness, while some should be avoided because they are considered rude. In Japan, when referring to yourself, you use your index finger to point to your nose like this. Watashi desu ka? Watashi? <laughs> Pointing at other people is considered rude. So when you're referring to another person, the polite way of pointing is by using an open hand like this with palm facing up 
directed to the person you are referring to. Japanese are not used to making eye contact. It is considered rude and is a sign of aggression when you make direct eye contact with a Japanese for a long time. In Japan, putting your hands in your pocket and folding your arms like this are both considered rude. Japanese usually put their hands on their side when talking to people, walking, or just standing. Bowing is considered the Japanese equivalent of a handshake. They're not used to shaking hands or hugging each other. The levels of bowing depend on the amount of politeness you want to show. Typically, the deeper and longer you bow, the greater respect you show. A 15 degree bow is a casual bow used to greet someone, sometimes even strangers. A 30 degree bow is more formal and the most common bow in business settings. A 45 degree bow is used to express deep gratitude, to apologize, or to be very polite. So these are some of the things that you need to know before learning Japanese. We will learn more about Japanese culture in the next videos. Also, we will soon begin our reading, writing, grammar, and conversation series for beginners in this channel. Up next is a short quiz on what you've learned today. Thank you so much for watching and see you on our Japanese lesson.